you know you're supposed to light a candle every time you make a wish and vice versa it's every time you light a candle you just make a wish so okay so um setting out to talk about why i'm not starting another channel one is that i've started two schools two yoga schools both are closed by now uh over the, the period of 16 years two studios and just people that have helped me with people that have helped me with um social media, been managers, been little karma yogis who have tried to help get me accessible to the world, you know. Um, <clears throat> so there's now, I counted, five YouTube channels. That's too many channels. So as much as a friend of mine says, that I should start over with the cannabis one. Some of the yoga people are not gonna be interested in cannabis reviews, cannabis talk. Don't watch those videos. You know what I'm saying? 56 subscribers, I mean, like, I'm just gonna throw that away. Just kidding. Uh, but I, you know, whatever, over, I know so little about all this stuff. And I think it's good because I like to stay at arm's length in terms of navigate, you know what I mean? Like navigating life without technology stuff, social media stuff. You can't merge channels, even though they're all me or a business that I owned by myself. Ashley Cummings, Just Breathe Yoga, soul owner, Agni Yoga. No one's fighting for the other half, but someone used to own of that. Um, it was like my ex, he was probably still as drunk. Um, anyway, Lavender, did you know it's the most powerful negator, neutralizer of negative energy in your home? So you can just get regular, Lavender, like <laughs> in a cooking show. Um, it's abundantly so, so available in California. When it dries, fired it up. So also, I remember not. Okay, so several reasons why I'm keeping this the same channel as the. It's just an evolution of stuff. It's. Okay, so you can't merge five channels. You can like download, it's just for my cell phone guys, chill. You can like, download movies and re-upload movies and blah, 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 blah. And so I think it's also cool to see different, like the years and stuff. And like, I don't know the way the world is. I don't know where we're gonna find. I'm committed to this 56. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but the people that have followed me already, and then the people that will, I don't know, I just have a feeling. As well, I've always had a feeling, and this is also a comment about yoga, I don't even like really telling people I'm a yoga teacher anymore because it's so, I feel sort of loaded. Um, you know, yogis have been tied to pot forever. I support, as everyone knows, sobriety at every level. But when I was in AA and sober in AA, active member of AA, and you know, I had a sponsor, I had sponsees, um, I went to meetings, I had commitments. Um, I would say in shares, I remember my sponsor, my sponsor one time was like, I don't know if you need to say that. I'm like, I don't know, it just came out, but it was so true. I smoked cigarettes then, I don't know. And I'd be like, guys, honestly, weed to me was never a drug. It was just like cigarette, it was like a cigarette with a kick, you know? Like it was like a little bit more helpful in terms of anxiety or something. 
but that was about it. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm not following the program, but I know a lot of people and respect a lot of people that are doing a version of the 12 step program that is Alcoholics Anonymous with marijuana, marijuana, as they say, if you were to watch a movie called Reefer Madness. Anybody heard of this? Well, it should really be called what it was, PCP Madness. Because the guy's marijuana got laced with PCP, then he raped a girl, and killed her, I think. I guarantee you there has not been a person in history that smoked pot and then went and raped someone. Just pot. I'm not saying like pot on top of bath salts and raped someone or whatever. Um, and another part of it is like, you know, I'm very big into the truth. Satya, um, speak, when you speak, speak the truth. Um, living by the Niyama, the Yamas and the Niyamas, which are like the, basically like the Ten Commandments of yogic philosophy, which is philosophy, not a religion, it's like suggestions. Um, I was never, I never would say no, I didn't smoke pot, like when I was smoking pot, as a teacher, as a confidant, as a friend, whatever. But I would omit it in certain areas. I mean, my mother doesn't love pot. I wouldn't be like, Hey mom, I'm smoking a big fat doobie right now because she wouldn't enjoy hearing that information. But I, I don't tell her that I don't smoke. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's how I live my life. Like I'm the same person to everyone. I just would never say anything that bothered anyone. When I started to realize how much, or how much more accessible, I guess, I was, or this part of my life was to share, that's all that's up, you know? Um, <clears throat> and I think it's a time in history where it is the medicinal value of it is uh, being more widely understood. And I don't even wanna say understood, like internalized. There's a documentary that everybody should see and honestly, well, everybody should see if they're interested in this topic at all, but anyone that has anything to say about whether marijuana should be legal to use specifically for the purposes of epilepsy in children as a seizure disorder. So that's having uncontrolled seizures and usually a lot of them, each seizure, I've had seizures before, each seizure wreaks havoc on your brain. It's really, really awful. Um, you shake uh, your brain, your brain, your brain is just completely uh, I want to say attacked, but it's like a word stronger than that even. And when you see these little kids that have these epileptic seizure disorders where they're having like one girl the average was like 70 to 90 seizures a day not all like full-blown some are like smaller and with the marijuana tincture the thc tincture this is a, a australian documentary with that tincture I went down within like two days to 10 seizures, then with sustained THC, like one to two, maybe there were days without seizures. Done. Anyone that wants to talk to me about not letting THC tinctures be available for children that have seizure disorders and respond well to this, their seizures go from two, uh, from 79 or 70 to 90 seizures a day to 10 in two days. I'm sorry, fuck you. You shouldn't be somebody that I should be asking permission from anyway, which is basically fuck you, Australia. Um, women are going on the black market or whoever's in charge of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, but the, 
women, mothers are buying THC on the black market because it's not legalized there yet. And the reasoning for it is so lame. Like nobody even knows why. Like if you don't smoke pot and it doesn't help you, it doesn't help your health, then leave it alone. Like why does it affect you? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that, that, that thing with the kids really touched me. And then, um, no, I was just gonna go yeah, so that, that, like, Australia, if you can hear me now, um, legalize it. Oh, the mothers go to the black market. So not only are they in jeopardy being in dicey situations, getting from the black market, what is the only thing that will help their children. And the other options are, of course, big pharma options that are fucking, like, crazy. You know, who knows the long-term side effects of some of these medications? And, um... They all have short-term, really unfortunate ones, and auspicious ones. Make a wish.